Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot Thursday, the 7th of January 2020. Second coffee, anything can happen. And Leia joins us. You can just see her over there on the on the bed horizon. Hello. Uh, we are having a quick burst of the Armanac. I'm excited because it's the Armanac and it's 2021. I think I, I hope I said 2021. Obviously, I'm struggling with the year. This is humpback whale migration. I know, humpback whale migration. I'm going to edit it slightly. So, there are populations in every ocean and those of the Atlantic trek over 5,000 kilometers from the icy seas north of the Arctic Circle off Norway. Their migration is pelagic. Pelagic? Pelagic, which means they move through the open sea well away from land. But one group, having summered in the feeding grounds off the Norwegian islands of Svalbard, have started making a Scottish stop-off in the Firth of Forth, or the Firth of Forth, if you want a really bad Scottish accent. Apologies to all Scottish people. Presumably to refuel and set them up for the onward journey. Since 2017, and despite very few humpback whale sightings in the Firth of Forth, before then there have been increasing numbers of sightings every year. This dramatic change ties in with a slow but steady recovery, woohoo, in the population of Atlantic humpback whales since the demise of whaling, which was a major industry in Scotland for hundreds of years. It's thought that as a whale population has increased, whales have started returning to areas they've previously been driven out of, and perhaps this is happening here. They won't stay for long and will be on their way again before the end of the month, having made full use of our krill and delighted all the whale watchers. Once they reach the Caribbean, the females give birth to live young, nudging them up to the surface to take their first breath, and they will stay with them and nurse them for the whole of their first year. That's nice, we like that. We have a bit of positive almanac news. There you go. I've washed my hair as well. <laughs> what a treat. <laughs> Everything is happening. So what is happening with the tarot? I'm using the light seers tarot because I can't keep my hands off it at all. And I'm looking at a big seagull on the chimney pot. Two big seagulls and two crows. Ooh. Ooh. That's weird. So I just said two big seagulls and two crows and I pull the two of swords, which I think might be two crows. <laughs> okay. Now I'm sitting up. What can it mean? What can it mean? Hmm. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. Oh, that's lovely. Two of Swords. This is a card where you can't see which direction to go in, mostly because there is no direction to go in. It's that feeling of, instead of feeling like I'm at a crossroads, I could go this way, I could go that way, which makes a bit of a dance. It's a bit of a, well, there isn't really any way. I've got a blindfold. So if you look here, there's normally a blindfold involved with the Two of Swords and in this pack, in this deck, um, birds represent uh, swords because of the air. There is a thinking or a feeling of being in stasis. It's like the hanged man, but minor arcana. I quite like a two of swords moment because it's not saying anything is good or bad. It's just saying it isn't yet, you know? Sorry, my seat's uncomfortable today. It's just saying that it isn't yet okay you don't have all the information that you need and i think we've had this message for a few days okay if you look here we've also got the two of pentacles in the reverse jupiter in capricorn the need to expand your horizons the feeling that you want to 
you want to juggle what you're doing. You want to juggle creativity, ideas, how to make money, what you're doing for a living, your side hustle, your research, your learning. You know, I sometimes think that we forget that as humans, we can be learning for all of the years of our lives, you know, instead of just, well, you go to school and then you may do A-levels, you may go to university and then you stop learning, start a job and, you know, that's it. It's it, unless you do some training at work or a little bit more qualification. I have a feeling that we should all be, or not should, because should's a bad word, that we are all philosophers of life, that whole spirit on a human journey. You want to know. And what's more, when you get the two of pentacles, you want to put something into practice that you know, okay? And you don't yet have the tangible opportunity. Sometimes that's the best time because that's when things, when nothing is happening, everything is happening. This is my percolating mind. Things are percolating, okay? In the middle of the reading, and interestingly, more, more Boyds. We've got the Six of Swords. Escape, a journey, a mental journey, a um, six is a very dynamic in tarot. They're nice. They're a nice number. They feel kind of right. They feel like you're, go you're going somewhere, you're doing something. But at the same time, you're doing something and going somewhere in quite a, not a stuck way, but in stasis. So it's almost like I'm getting astral projection. You know, you're doing it in your dreams or you're doing it in your head or you're thinking about where you could be. Do you remember? I don't know when it was, might have been yesterday, we had that two of wands, you know, where you're prospecting in your mind. Could I do this? Could I do that? The possibilities are endless. It's that kind of feeling. But you also may not have the ability to put it into practice and that restriction might be the best thing that could happen. Ace of Swords. Isn't that amazing? got a bit of a nod to Princess Leia with the conch, conch hair, but also it's got that whole, oh, it's got some algebra underneath. Look at that. Pretend to understand that, Gemma. There is this, um, it's a bit like the crown chakra. Woof, you know, swing is what we say with the Ace of Swords. You're waiting for an, you know, you don't wait for epiphanies. That's not true. They're not buses, are they? Epiphanies are not buses. Gemstone Tarot merch t-shirt. So the world rests on the crotch of a jester. That was the last one. And epiphanies are not buses. That's An epiphany comes and it lights up that part of your chakras, brain, juju, inspiration, whatever you want to call it. And you wanna do something with it, Two of Pentacles, but it isn't the right time yet, so you feel like you're kind of suspended. There's a magic in that suspension. Fall in reverse again. Not time to jump yet, not time to leap, not time to, to take the um, journey that the Fool takes, which is the Major Arcana. Swing! I feel like it's a slow start to January. I feel like it's not very linear and all months are not equal in time. Some fly by, some don't. Some days fly by, some don't. This feels like we're in a kind of a strange dream time, okay? It's obviously my dream time, mine. Six of Cups. There is something here about connecting with something from before. I won't even say the past because it doesn't feel like the past. It feels like before. I want a Brian and Wendy Frood. Heart of the Fairy Oracle. Oh, I like that energy. We get the boy and the Prince of Light. This is inspiration and it can be that somebody comes to you or you discover something on the internet or in your research or in your learning that is a bit of a gift. With the Prince of Light, he holds an egg and it's about potential. Do you remember that recently, recently we had, um, sorry, I thought Valentine was coming in then, or maybe she's knocking at the door. Recently we had the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It might be to do with that, some kind of spiritual gift. Just the delivery. 
Okay, just a delivery, a spiritual delivery. No, it's not Amazon knocking at the door. It is a spiritual delivery. Spiritual delivery, page of cups. Oh, healing with the angels, oracle card, we get truth and integrity. Sometimes when you get that two of swords and you've got the ace of swords, you've got the epiphany, but you don't have the means to carry it out. That's the integrity, it's the alignment, but the truth is certainly here, okay? You just might not be able to act on it yet. That was quite a coherent message. Do check out your January readings, which are in the description box, and do subscribe, like, share, and all that stuff, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.